On this week's episode, we team up with Insider to take you behind the scenes on our repair process for kitchen worktops. We shoot over to Witness where we're doing a pre-start meeting with the site team. Then we go over to see Craig, one of our technicians who's carrying out repairs in Void Properties for housing associations. My name's Jason, this is Inside Primo, episode 14. Naughty, naughty, Mr. Tradesman. Look at this, everyone. Man buns. Oi, oi. Hair's actually dropped. There's some structural issues. I'm really fucking up. It is Monday morning, we are in the office and we are shortly going to be going downstairs where we're going to see Curtis um, carrying out a kitchen worktop repair, taking you through the stages of a kitchen worktop repair and we are doing this in collaboration with Insider. Um, Insider are a brand that have contacted us and want to collaborate on social platforms because they find what we do very interesting and it is very interesting. Uh, and yeah, so we're collaborating with them on um, various content for various social platforms. And it's fantastic because it means we get to reach their audience, they get to reach ours, uh, and it's a win-win. So we're really excited about that. We're also collaborating over the year with various other businesses and brands. And this has come about because last year we was on the TV programme, The Moneymaker. If you've not seen that, go and check that out on Catch Up on all four. Uh, we are episode one and come back to us, give us the feedback. We're really interested to what you, th what you think about that program. So since that program, we've been contacted with various brands, some huge, some small, some medium, uh, and we're more than happy to collaborate with all brands, any brands. So if you're a brand, a business, whether small, huge, whatever, fat, thin, whatever you might be, contact us. We love collaboration. We've even got somebody coming in today actually to, um, to have a podcast with who's a construction um, sort of podcast, which we won't tag as yet because we don't know when this is going to be out and we don't know when the podcast is going to be out. So all will be revealed with that. But yeah, we love collaboration. Uh, it's a win-win for both sides. We share the audiences and, and we get to both grow and, and get put in front of new people. So if you're a business and um, you want to collaborate with us, you think we can help you in any way, shape or form, please contact us because we really, really want to hear from you and we love collaborating with all types of businesses, big, small and in between. Uh, even started helping one-man bands, one-woman bands, um, basically people who've just set up in business. I'm getting contacted a lot now and I'm starting to do, um, and I can't promise I'm going to have loads of time to do this for everyone, so please don't flood our inbox. Uh, but I do make time to have various um, Zoom calls and things like that with people just starting up to try and help them, inspire them and motivate them a little bit more and give them a bit of guidance because, you know, I was once there. Um, so yeah, next that's coming up, we have the kitchen worktop process from start to finish in collaboration with Insider. There's going to be an official video coming out on the Insider YouTube video that is going to be fantastic and we'll repost on all our socials and let you know when it's out very soon. But here's a little taster of what's to come.
Right, I've checked my mics on. It is 6.28 um, and I am in the office. Um, my DJI Pocket has been in my pocket for the past five days. <clears throat> Not really had it out. Uh, we've had Charles uh, out and about uh, doing all his video stuff, but myself personally, I've had a million and one things to do. And I'll be dead honest, this is new in terms of the getting that routine. So... Um, I didn't forget, I just kind of thought I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do a bit of recording tomorrow, 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 and as we know, tomorrow never comes. So, making the conscious effort to, um, from today, fresh start, get this camera out, do a lot more video in, um, and yeah, be able to take you out and about with us. So, we have a pre-start meeting this morning over in Widness, or Wigan, I think it's Widness. Uh, we've just won a full external clean and uh, I think there's elements of repair on there as well. Uh, stone to be restored, things like that. On the external of a facade on a building. So that's going to be amazing. We'll pull up the um, the before pictures now, which we went and took last week. Charles went out and got some great drone footage of the building. So that's going to be a great before and after. Uh, the building itself is heavily sort of soiled and um, weed growth that kind of thing uh, and it's going to look amazing once it's restored so we will take you there uh, this morning to the pre-start meeting um, a pre-start meeting is what it says on the tin it's a pre-start we're going to go we're going to talk about our approach we're going to talk about where we can get our water supply that kind of thing get everything planned in to make sure that once we arrive on the date we hit the ground running um, what else have I got on today? Mark is coming in. You would have seen Mark on our team meeting day. Uh, Mark's a, um, a business coach that we have who just assists us uh, with various things and, and a bit of uh, business support, that kind of thing. Uh, he's coming in today. Who's this at the door? It's Tom. One second. You all right, mate? How's it going? All right. What are you after? Let me show you this. Let me show this. Show us your vest. Look at this, everyone. What do you call this? Man buns. <laughs> I'm going to start calling them man buns. Man buns. <laughs> Why is that? Is that because it's too small or too big? No, well, it just gets in the way when you're picking stuff up. Right, I will come back. Let me sort this guy out and I'll be right back. Right, so, sorry about that. Um, we had Lewis, Dennis and uh, Tom, as you've seen with his new man buns. So we're going to have to order him a new high vis. We can't be having people creating uh, a new method of wearing the uniform because they don't fit. So I'll get that on uh, Sarah's list. So yeah, we've got Mark coming in late this afternoon. Um, we're going to run through uh, various accounts. Uh, we love to stay on top of the accounts, the cash flow, that kind of thing. It's very important, especially post COVID uh, and the climate we're in. But do you know what? Forget all that. It's very important anyway, knowing your numbers. Um, that's something I learned on the TV program, The Money Maker, when we was on that last year. Uh, yeah, know your numbers. It's good to be back on the DJI Pocket. I'll do as much as possible over the next, however long I'll keep doing it. Uh, I think it's important, as I say, to document what we're doing uh, and yeah, bring you guys lots of content. So lots of good stuff coming up. Um, 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 um. I need to get out of that thing of saying um lots of good stuff coming up so i'm going to crack on now it's now seven o'clock uh time has gone and yeah let's get down to business let's get down let's get down to business in fact what i'm going to show you which i'm absolutely buzzing about so we have a new cctv system so we are now able to see all the downstairs because I just had a new one put covering the entrance there shebang I've just noticed all the dust on the door frame naughty naughty mr. tradesman but he's a good lad the guy who does our CCTV he's done it all at my house the neighbors um, all the road pretty much so he's a good guy anyway down to business catch up with you guys in a bit right and now it's time to head over to Widness for the pre-start meeting it's the boys
I think, how, how is this a site office? So we're just having a look round this external um, with the site team and uh, had our pre-start meeting and just talking through what the potential sequence will be. So let's get in with these boys and find out what the plan is. Cleaning the sills, but they're just going to be painted anyway. Yeah. Low level. It's like how far, how far they expect us to go with these. Actually, we've the crap. That might just be the pain. Is the anyway. 26 cells in total? Yeah. Should, that, should we we'll put, we'll put that? that yeah. That. Should we put that drip detail back in? Run that back in across the floor. Obviously, put that back here. Yeah. 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 Years and years. Because how I did it is, I just thought it'd be a man day each sale, so some were going to win on. It's fing dangerous, isn't it? That's what you need to sell a client, it's going to have a bits of snow falling off any time. It's not on the uh, scope at all, That's is it? That's got to be sorted, that right, yeah. So we've actually found that um, there's some structural issues on the job. Uh, we've got the scaffolding up and we're able to get up nice and close. So if I show you. This arch here has actually dropped two inches, you can see. Something's gone on in the past because it's then cracked all the way up. So this is going to need structural repairs, heli bars in. Um, so it'll need structural repairs with bars in, with resin, pin it in, uh, and that'll form a kind of um, support across the top and stop that dropping anymore. So all being revealed while we're on the scaffolding. Client surprised, but this is what happens on construction. Always expect the unexpected. So Mike, tell them how the uh, pre-start meeting went. Mike. Okay, looks like Mike's not talking today. So, we went over to Witness. Um, <clears throat> pre-start meeting was mega important. So glad we went. It was meant to be done over Zoom. Uh, and we said, no, we need to really see uh, the condition of the stone and the building to make sure that we, A, price it right, and B, we get the right plan in place to do the job that's needed to be done. So we went over there and wow, are we glad that we went. Uh, the stone is deteriorating a lot more than we thought. There's structural issues, uh, there's potential access, potential, uh, potential access issues. Uh, so it was really, really, um, productive in that we've now discovered all this as you saw in the in the uh, video just then so now for us what we've got to do is the next step we're going to get a plan in place to get back over we're going to blast off uh, the external in terms of clean it which will remove any loose stone substances get rid of all the dirt grime and all that see what we're left with and then we're able to price the repair work and the structural repair work um, from that because we can see it a lot clearer so uh, yeah a lot more difficult than we thought the client knows there's going to be a bit more cost than expected um, but we had a good meeting it was very um it, it was very clear, we, there was a lot of clarity from, from each side of the table as to what's to be expected now at the next stage. And everyone's in agreement that if we're gonna do this job, it needs to be done properly, especially where structural is concerned. So yeah, we need to now sit down, get on with this plan. And um, yeah, hopefully on next week's video, you'll see the start of the cleaning process and uh, unveiling what's gonna be left beneath for us to then repair. So Mike, do you wanna finish off? Nope, 
Okay, so that's that. I need to go and get prepared. I've got a meeting now with Mark where I've got to run through the numbers and we're going to update the cash flow, the forecast, all that kind of stuff, um, which is immensely important to our business and to make sure we're still ahead of the game and keeping on track to our financial goals. Go on, what? What have you got, what's that? Caps? Oi, oi! Oi, oi! Hey, so, let me tell you a little bit about this. Kept seeing the technicians wearing caps. But I want a cap for driving. I just, I like wearing a cap. But yeah, it doesn't have primer on. And we've got to hit our standards. Everything needs to be branded, so at the request of all the technicians, we've had caps done. I hate wearing a cap, let's see how. <laughs> I don't want my, my new Primal cap. Hey, Good. It looks good though. Does it though? Yeah. I don't like caps. So yeah, there we go. We've got caps for technicians who like wearing caps. Um, we've got no issue with the lads wearing caps as long as the Primo. And obviously you can't wear them on site because you're wearing a hard hat anyway, but yeah, summer's on the way, so why not? Mega, right then, well. We'll get them, notif well, we'll notify the lads that these have arrived and we'll get them dished out. Boom, another addition to the Primo 2.0 kit, mega. Now it's at that stage of the video where we go out on the road and take you through some action. We have one of our top technicians, Craig, who is out on the tools at various housing associations today where he's carrying out various types of repairs in void properties. So let's hit the road and let's take you through. Um, let, let's, let's just go and meet Craig and see what he's up to. Hi, I'm Mike. I'm one of the senior managers here at Primo. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that bell button. You subscribe because we want as many subscribers as possible to help as many people as possible. So that's it for episode 14. Thank you for watching. If you want to see last week's episode, click here. If you want to be taken to our website, click here. And if you want to see the interview with Martin Van Ruin and the supercars, click here. See you next week.